So we begin then with one of the best fights we've seen this year. Back on the 7th of April, Michael Gale from Leeds took on Brent Kozlowski for the vacant Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship at the Leeds Town Hall. Michael Gale, of course, coming into this match with the uh, Central Area Light Heavyweight Championship. He won that and a half point uh, points decision over Bobby Joe Edwards in Leeds in October of 92. And here comes Kozlowski, the Canadian from Alberta in Canada. A dozen wins and just one loss on his record. The one loss came, in fact, in his sixth fight, beaten by Desmond Fingers, one of the three boxing finger brothers. And in his dozen win his wins, he'd stopped ten opponents. So by no means a pushover for Michael Gale. And here comes Gale. Managed by Mickey Duff, promoted, of course, by Matram. Um, apologies, by National Promotions. And this was a big chance for him. And coming into this, he'd had 18, he'd won 17 and drawn just the one. And that was with uh, the former ABA champion, Dennis Cronin, back in October of 91. So the only blemish then on Michael Gale's record. Good class amateur as well, Gale. Box for England. On a couple of occasions, in fact, also boxed in the multinationals tournament in Cologne in 89. Was beaten by Quintana, the Cuban, I think in the quarterfinal. So there's Michael Gale. And the weight limit, light heavyweight, 12 stone 7. 25 years of age. And this one scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds, of course. Both boxers gloving up in the ring. And I'll give you a clue as to what we've... In fact, I'll tell you what we've got tonight for you. As I say, this is one of the best fights we saw of the year. Our prospect features Jeremy Williams in the heavyweight division. And I look back on the career of Roger Mayweather, showing four of his fights, former double champion, remember? And the best knockout, or one of the best knockouts we've seen this year on Eurosport was when uh, Dominic McGuigan travelled to Marseille and took on the American Eugene Speed. And it's a normal tradition in British boxing to have the main event glove up in, in the ring. It just adds that little air of expectancy to proceedings. And a view there of the magnificent organ in this hall. And Kozlovsky began his professional career in January of 1990. Hasn't really fought anyone that you could uh, put your finger on. Gale, in fact, had been a pro for uh, just a year longer than Kozlowski. And with the exception of uh, a point win over the Midlands area champion Carlos Christie, that draw with Dennis Cronin, and a point win over Tony Booth before the area title win over Bobby Joe Edwards, not too much recognisable on the record of Michael Gale to the casual fight fan. So, a packed Leeds Town Hall then. Uh, 
made at 12 stone, seven pounds, over 12 three minute rounds for the Bacon Light Heavyweight Championship of the Commonwealth. Between and introducing in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the red trim from Calgary, Alberta in Canada, his record of 12 wins and just one loss, 10 wins by KO. Would you welcome please, Brent Kosolovsky. So there he is in the relatively inexperienced Brent Kosolovsky, very strong go forward type of fighter. And in the red corner, we're in the black trunks with the white trim from Leeds, unbeaten in 18 contests, 10 by KO with just one draw, Michael Gale. And there's Michael Gale, who, if he's got a problem at all, is, in my opinion anyway, he's a bit upright and not too difficult to hit. And the way in today, uh, Kosolovsky scale, 12 stone, 6 and a quarter pound scale, 12 stone, 6 and a half pounds. Your timekeeper for this contest is Mr. Colin Roberts and the referee, Mr. Mickey Van. And Mickey Van, just a five minute car ride from the Leeds Town Hall, lives in Pudsey. Just outside of Leeds, so 12 rounds then ahead of us for the vacant Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship and referee Van would be the uh, sole arbiter here. Commonwealth Championships don't have judges ringside. And the Commonwealth Championship Committee meets in London on fairly regular occasions. So into the first round there, Michael Gale in the black, the local man against Brent Kozlowski from Calgary and Alberta. Nice jab from Kozlowski. And these two actually set a pretty good pace from the first bell. Stiff jab again for Kozlowski. Oh. Of course, this crowd getting behind everything that Michael Dale does. So not much left in the first round, and not a great deal in this opener. Nice right hand from Gale, that one rocked Kozlowski. And then Gale going on the attack. Good punches there from Gale. And this uh, assault in the last 30 seconds or so might just have been enough to give Michael Gale the opening round of a scheduled 12. Good right there for Kozlowski, just on the belt. And also, the uh, point scoring in Commonwealth title fights is the same as in British fights at all levels. Scored on the half-point margin, 10 points to the winner of the round, and of course, uh, 
a proportionate amount less to the loser. Normally, but as I say, segmented into half points rather than full points. There might come a time when uh, Britain gets in step with the rest of the world and adopts the full point system. But uh, it's a constitutional problem because there is a... There is something in the Boxing Border Control rules that uh, says that if a fighter is a certain amount of points behind and uh, no chance of winning on points, the fight must be stopped. It doesn't happen very often, I must admit. And that also is uh, slightly askew with the rest of the world. So into the second round, then Michael Gale looks like he might just have taken the opener with some good work in the last 30 seconds or so just to separate them and they get a nice right hand from Gale to start the second round once again Mickey Van there just cautioning Kozlowski for a low blow like he did in the first It's a big moment for Michael Gale to get himself on the world map. Although I must admit, Commonwealth Championships don't hold the same kind of weight as they did 15 years ago. But it's still a good bargaining point. Kozlowski concentrating almost exclusively on clusters to Gale's body. <laughs> and Brent Kozlowski, a very chunky, strong looking fighter. from Kozlowski, but uh, shipped the right hand from Gale. And Michael Gale now bleeding from the nose and a tribute, in fact, to the fact that he stood back and admired his work and allowed Kozlowski to get to him. again there from Gale and that one really had Kozlowski all at sea they were pouring home the punches so Michael Gale's proved then in the first couple of rounds anyway that he has the power to hurt the Canadian and Kozlowski not yet over the effect of that right hand of the chin which I hope you'll see again in the replay. And another one. This time, Kozlowski's legs jiggle. So a good round once again for Gale. He's taken the first two. A dream start for him. Kozlowski's corner man there telling Brent Kozlowski to pace himself for 12 rounds and the crowd roaring gale on here in this exchange Keeper Colin Roberts calls them out for action in round three with Michael Gale taking the first two. So an excellent start then for Gale. Couldn't have hoped for a better one. It would have, of course, been nice for his calls if one of his right hands could have put Kozlowski over, but uh, trying again.
and Gale had uh, stopped 10 in his 17 wins. But ironically, his last couple of fights, in fact, his last three fights, four fights, hang on, his last five fights, in fact, he's had to travel the full route. Michael Gale boxing very smartly and intelligently in this first few rounds and the bleeding from the nose causing a few problems right hand from Kozlovsky and when he throws that left hand it's done with real conviction plenty of weight behind it good body shot from Kozlovsky on pretty level terms in round three. <laughs> nice right again from Gale, but uh, didn't follow it up quick enough. And uh, there might just be a case for calling that round Michael Gales once again. A closer round, though, without a doubt. So with three gone, all three in favour of Michael Gale on my card. A local man from Leeds, although Kozlowski proving then he could get it on the inside and thump away to the body and the odd shot to the head as well. But might just have taken a cluster of punches more than he landed. And if you're wondering what the apparent spectator is doing on the ring apron, they are inspectors appointed by the Boxing Board of Control who ensure that no illegal substances are used. And in this case is Alan Ulster look, overseeing the Gale corner and uh, John Hall looking after the Canadian's corner. We have those in all championship fights in Britain. Of course in America too. Round four of a scheduled 12. The vacant Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship. Pumping right again from Gale, but that left jab of Kozlovsky's very painful punch. Now Kozlovsky in order to go forward impervious to anything coming back his way. He's got to try and turn this one around. And these body punching punches starting to tell. to Southpaw from Gale, but then thought better of it. Kozlowski's still thumping away to the ribcage. And now, Michael Gale's punches, lacking the conviction of the earlier rounds, as Kozlowski just barges his way forward.
and Gale being severely bothered by these body shots of Kozlowski but he's a very game performer So having taken the first three sessions, Michael Gale looked like he'd lost the fourth round. So three rounds to one in favour of the Yorkshireman. After four, long way to go. There must have been a fair bit of concern in that uh, Gale corner. Of course, they know him better than anybody. I would have sensed that uh, those body shots were getting to him. Ten seconds, so into round five. Michael Gale then from Leeds in the black against Brent Kozlowski for the vacant Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship from the Leeds Town Hall. Shot to the body from Kozlowski, then a right hook to the jaw. And a significant shift in the complexion of this fight. Now Kozlovsky going forward, not being met with the powerful counters that were catching him in the first three. And once again, thumping away to that uh, body of Gale. But Michael Gale grits his teeth. And it might just be that this fight came a little bit too soon for Gale. to hang on than he is to throw combinations. It was still a couple of rounds in front coming into this uh, fifth. But really need, needed a spell of good work to lift his spirits. And Kozlowski probably sensed that uh, he's beginning to wear down the resistance of the auctionman by this point. They have been applauded for very gamely trying to come back from this onslaught from a very strong, persistent Kozlowski. But that's a good round for Brent Kozlowski, the second on the trot, having dropped the first three. So now only a half point difference, but still in Michael Gale's favour. Big punches there on the replay. Uh, 
course, it could have been that Gail was just taking a couple of rounds to relax, having worked hard over the first three. But then again, it may not have been. And Gail certainly did well to get himself out of that corner, his own corner, in fact. Round six. And Michael Gale really needing a good round. Try and stop this one slipping away from him. As I say, he's made a pretty dream start. But uh, Kozlowski has completely ignored these uh, rather ineffectual punches of Gale by this point. And just tearing forward and unloading, of course, to that uh, probably painful body of Michael Gale's by now. Gale throwing punches in round six, but uh, not a great deal of weight behind them. Once again, Kozlowski thumping in two lefts to the ribs, but a good right there for Gale, the best punch he's landed for the last few rounds. Final minutes of uh, round six. Once again, the crowd getting behind Gale, trying to lift him, and he's responded. Still won't leave Gale alone. Nice left hook there from Gale. Well, this looks for all the world like a pretty level round, and Gale still around in front after six. <laughs> Bit of replay here from round six, which, as I say, looked all the world like an even round but uh, Michael Gale still three rounds to two and one even in front as we go into the seventh round the halfway stage of this uh, vacant Commonwealth light heavyweight championship so well, this then is the halfway stage and Michael Dell had done exceptionally well up until this point, but uh, severe doubts creeping in, in my mind anyway, about his ability to last another six of this kind of pace and uh, advancing opponent who looks as strong as he did at the beginning. Thank <laughs> you. 